I think some of the challenges affecting scholarly publishers, specifically in the UK, are obviously the uh, flat or indeed declining library budgets that we have, and I don't think that is likely to be reversed uh, anytime soon. And I think the other area relates to, um, uh, to open access uh, mandates, uh, and particularly the difficulty with, with uh, unfunded green mandates. Um, and also, uh, in the open access sphere, with very many good, high quality journals, but we're also facing a number of predatory open access journals, and that, I think, is a big issue for us in the UK. The, the challenge that scholarly, publishing, uh, scholarly publishers are facing in the US um, you know, again, there, there's a number of them, but the one that jumps out at me is the proliferation of mandates to make content free um, after a relatively brief embargo period. Um, there are a lot of different mandates. They all have different rules and different expectations. The authors themselves don't necessarily have clarity on what mandates govern their paper, particularly if there are multiple authors. So how we comply with those mandates and continue to meet the needs of our readers is, is a big challenge for us. I think there's a number of challenges facing um, scholarly publishing around the world, but um, particularly in the UK, we're facing increasing time pressures for our academics. So the institutions are looking for academics to do more in less time. Um, and with, I think yesterday was mentioned at one of the talks at the Alps meeting that there's something like 650 different access policies worldwide. So as a publisher based in the UK, we're trying to deal with these international policies while also keeping our UK members and authors happy. So uh, yeah, it's, it's no a small challenge, I would say. The challenges keep changing. Um, the opportunities uh, have become digital as opposed to the challenges. Um, I think the opportunities um, that we face in the scholarly publishing in industry are no longer disruptive, but they're the options of different business models. Along with that, however, has come um, reduced federal funding in the United States as well as elsewhere. Um, so we have uh, lower, f less funding and higher expectations from government in terms of mandates, not only for researchers but for publishers as well. So less funding, more expectations for what researchers need to deliver to receive that funding and what journals need to provide in order to step up to mandates. And, and um, often many of the mandates um, precede uh, the appropriate funding to support those mandates. So I would say that we share with our researchers, our authors, and our readers uh, this challenge. There is general a challenge of trust. There is the predatory open access publisher. We are an entirely open access publisher. So trust is a big point. Uh, validation is also a big point in an area which is just growing in research, which is very nascent in its research and you know, investing in it and growing very, very quickly on it. You want to validate against something you know and you don't want to be on the cutting edge where you validate against new things and try new things. But on the other hand, as a publisher, doing new things and new implementing new technology, art metrics or other things, um, advances the um, dis discussion. So there's essentially a disconnect between uh, pushing forward as a publisher and uh, working um, with the funders and who might want to do something slightly, slightly different, but you have to be at the cutting edge as a new publisher, otherwise you don't have a USP. How do we deal with open access, or not so much open access, but funders, policies? Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting dynamic because now you get a, a sort of a, a power play between the funders on one side and the scientists on the other side. and then the funders say, no, we have to do this and that, and we want you open access. And the scientists say, well, uh, no, not necessarily. <laughs> For us as publishers, there's, there's also a new client appearing on the horizon, which is a funder. Uh, <laughs> and, and we have to do something with that. Uh, give them metrics, um, book metrics, uh, but also other metrics. Um, and uh, uh, yeah. In terms of policy for scholarly publishers, in the immediate term that people need to be thinking about now is open data. 
there are different views across communities in, the, um, in, in terms of what open data means, should we even be supportive? And my perspective, having listened to governments around the world, is we're, we're running out of time to say there, there is, we're not okay with open data. We have to find a way to make it okay. So uh, I think society leaders need to have those conversations now and again map that sustainable path of what's going to work for your science uh, to drive it forward. Mm -hmm.